Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this Looming Room EV. And yes, I do have a tutorial for this on my channel already. But I've decided to remake that tutorial because lots and lots of people had a lot of trouble on it and I was going too quickly on it. So today I'll be doing it a little bit in more depth and... This literally is my most popular video on my channel, so I hope this video will get just as many views as that other one and just as much love. Um, I am remaking it because um, I was very... I have grown a lot over the past two months um, with my Rainbow Loom channel. So I will be showing you how to make this bee again in more depth. Um, and I'll be also, um, I did modify the design quite a bit, um, from that tutorial. So, yeah, but basically it's still going to have the super cute design, and I'm just going to be adding a little tail that I did to the smaller bee that I made about two weeks ago, or like a week ago. Um, so basically all you're doing is adding a tail instead of just having a little bee, um, and you can add a little mouth at the end if you want to. I'm not adding any mouth just because I kind of like how simple it looks. And yeah, so this is just what we're going to be making in today's video. And I hope you enjoy. So everything you're going to be needing um, for the bee, I'm going to be using the classic colors. But instead of black for the stripes, I will be using gray just because... I don't want to waste all my black on stripes, and I only bought one pack of black if you saw my Rainbow Loom haul. So I'm going to be using gray, and um, I'm going to be using yellow for the main body color. And again, I just got everything from Rainbow Loom Company, um, their web store. I'm using black for the um, stinger, the little tail, and the eyes. And you're going to be needing some white for the wings, or you can use clear bands. The clear bands do look better, but I don't really have any. So that's just what I'm going to be using. You're going to be needing your rainbow loom hook, um, or you can use a crochet hook. I'm just using the rainbow loom hook. And you're going to be needing a stitch marker or C-clip. I'm just using this little clear C-clips that come, that come in the packs of bands, as you can tell. So, yeah, but let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to start off by making the eyes, the wings. So, for the eyes, you're just going to take two black bands and two yellow bands. Sorry for the crinkling. And I'm just going to wrap this. Once on my hook, take everything and wrap it around again. Oh, and I forgot to say this at the beginning. Disclaimer, you, um, I'm not really going to explain how to make a magic ring and all the stitches. So, if you pause this video right now, open up a new tab on your computer, iPad, phone. Um, go open up my Lumi Groomy 101 video if you don't know how to do any of the basic stitches or magic ring. And it'll teach you how to do all the stitches and the magic ring. So go check that out. And come right back when you're um, done watching that video. Okay, you're back now. Great. So, <laughs> now we're going to continue making the eyes. So just grab a yellow band and pull the black onto the yellow. And then you can just let go. And I'm just going to put this to the side for when we attach the eyes. Again, wrap the black around your hook once. Take everything, wrap it around again. Take a yellow and pull through. And then you can just put it aside for later. I'm just putting them over there. Now I'm gonna be we're gonna be making the wings. So you are gonna be needing some white, as you can tell I'm running low. So, I, your, these wings don't take up that many bands, so I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, oops, they covered up my magic ring. Okay. Or my um, C-clips, sorry. <laughs> but, 
for the um for the wings hold on i'm just gonna grab my pattern because i did write the pattern down okay so um to start the eyes we're gonna be making a magic ring with six stitches so i'm just gonna zoom my camera in so you can see what i'm doing so um wrap a white band around your hook twice grab another band Pull through, reclaim onto your hook, and pull this front band through the back band. Just like that. Go back in to the um, capping band. Pull through another band, reclaim onto your hook, and then pull this front band through the back two bands. And as you can tell, this little teal drop shape, that's your first stitch. And this one on your hook, also like shaped like a little teardrop that's your second stitch so now we're gonna go back in and keep repeating what we just did until we get six stitches all the way around so pull through reclaim take this front band and pull it through the back two bands now we have three stitches back in pull the band through reclaim pull this front band through the back two bands and this is the only time I'll be showing you how to make a magic ring in this video. So go back in to the capping band, grab another band, pull through, reclaim, pull this front band through the back two bands. We're going to do that one more time. Pull through, reclaim, pull this front band through the back two bands. Now, you're going to be grabbing your um, C clip or stitch marker and just put it on the band around your hook. Now we're gonna be doing a wacky row. This means we're gonna be doing a bunch of different stitches on this entire row, or on this entire circle, around this entire circle. So for the first stitch, we're gonna be doing an increase, which is just two single crochets into the first stitch. So grab a band, pull it through, reclaim, and then pull through again, back into the same stitch, and do exactly that again. Pull through, reclaim, pull through. Now we're going to be doing a decrease. So a decrease is taking our hook, sliding it in through the front of that first stitch and the back of the next stitch. Then you're just going to do that same thing. Pull through, reclaim, pull through. That was a decrease. Now we're going to be doing two increases. So pull through, reclaim, pull through. Back in, another single crochet, one more increase, back in. Now we're going to remove the C-clip because we're going to be doing a decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, grab the front of that stitch and the back of the next stitch, and Pull through everything on your hook, reclaim, and you're going to slip knot that. Just like that. Make sure not to rip the band in half though because then your stitches are going to fly open and that will not be good. So this looks like your first wing, but we are going to have to attach one more tying off band into this stitch just so that we can tie it onto the body later. So grab another band, pull through just make a slip knot like that. This is just so we can knot it onto the body when we're ready later. Again, you can do this in clear bands. I just use white because I don't have any clear bands. And I'm gonna make one more of these off camera so you can just rewind the video and make one more of these and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished making the, the wings. <laughs> Sorry, I said the, the, oops, my bad. But um, you should have two of them. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these to the side with the eyes. And now we can start working on the body. So we're gonna start off with the yellow. So just pour some of the yellow out. I honestly don't exactly know how much we'll be needing, but there will be, um, a band count in the description 
So, look at that to make sure that you have just the right amount of bands to make this. And yeah. So we're gonna start off with a magic ring of six stitches for body with yellow or whatever color you're using. I already showed you how to make a magic ring in this video. Um, and I also told you to go look at my Lumi Groomy video um, if you don't know how to do the stitches. So, yeah. But just make a magic ring with six stitches. I dropped a yellow over there. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a C-clip and put it on the band around my hook. And for this next row, we are going to be adding our eyes on stitch 3 and stitch 9. So we're going to be doing increases all the way around. And I'm just going to count and tell you when to put your eyes on. So this is our first increase. 1... two this is three so i'm gonna grab one of my eyes and stitch it in as if it were just um a band without an eye on it now this is four go back in this is five back in six this is seven and eight seven Back in eight. Now we're doing nine. And again, just stitch it in like it's a regular stitch. And then just do sync, then just do, um, then keep increasing until we get back to the C clip. And then you can just move the C-clip up to the band around your hook. Now we have the eyes. For the next row, we're going to be doing a single crochet and then an increase all the way around and in yellow. So just go ahead and do that. Also, thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. That means so much to me. And I can't even believe how far we're getting. Um, if we can get to 500 in the next two weeks, I might consider doing a giveaway. Might. So, hit that subscribe button and the like button if you want to get some cool prizes. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But I already have an, a thing in mind for the prize. It'll be a really cool design by me. Um, and it might even have the pattern in it. So you can make it. But we have to get 500 subscribers first. So just keep that in mind. So I'm almost back to the C-clip. Or my stitch marker. And my last stitch should be an increase. Which it is for me. And it should be for you. Move that C-clip up. And now we're going to do one row of yellow all the way around. Just single crochets. So just go ahead and do that all the way around. And I will be doing all of this on camera just because we're going to be doing a lot of color changes and stuff like that. So I'm going to be trying to film all of this on camera the whole time. <laughs> also, comment down below if you have any design ideas for me. And yeah. Remember to pause the video if I'm going too quickly for you and you can catch up and then unpause.
Não preciso. So just keep going all the way around until you get back to the C clip or stitch marker. <laughs> Move your C clip up once you get there. I'm going to unzoom a little bit. That bee looks so cute. Okay, so now we are going to be switching to black. So I'm just going to move the yellow over out of the camera. Um, I was not black, sorry. Gray. This is the first time I've um, ever used this gray. As you can tell, still new. Haven't opened the package. But this video is special, so we're using gray. <laughs> Also, I do have a cat design that I might be wanting to do, but comment down below if you want me to make that cat design. Okay, um, I forgot to mention that we are going to be needing some stuffing, so we're going to be needing some stuffing soon, but not yet, so get ready for that. This is our first color change, um, and I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. So basically, you're going to go into the first stitch. Grab your gray band, pull it through, and the band around your hook as well. And you are going to be doing a loose slip knot. That is called a slip stitch, and that is just to make the color changes look seamless. And now we're just going to be doing a single crochet row all the way around with our gray color, or black, or whatever color you're using. Also, there is this thing called this strawberry bee um, going around, like it's a trend. So you can also use pink and white um, for the body and green for the wings if you want to make a strawberry bee. Which I don't have enough white to make that, but I totally would because that is such a cute idea. So yeah. But just keep crocheting all the way around. Okay, now I'm at my last stitch, so I'm just going to move my C-clip up onto the band around my hook. And I'm going to do one more row of gray all the way around to make the stripes a little bit thicker. So basically, we're going to be doing two gray, two yellow, two gray, and then one yellow to finish off the rest of the body pattern. And then we're going to start closing up the butt after we add the wings. But basically, you don't have to worry about any of that. So, just continue going with your gray for one more row. Again, if I'm too quick for you, please pause the video. Okay, I'm approaching my C-clip, so just finish that stitch and then remove the C-clip and put it on the band on your hook. And now, this is what it should look like. I'm going to go switch back to yellow now because we're going to be doing um, some more yellow. I'm going to unzoom a little bit. But this is what it should sort of look like. And I'm just going to move the gray over and bring the yellow back into the camera view. And now we're going to be doing two rows of yellow around. Again, I'm going to show you how to make the um, slip stitch. So you're going to pull a yellow band through that first stitch and the band around your hook. 
and then do a little slip knot make it loose don't pull it tight and then you could just start doing single crochets all the way around with your yellow and yeah And again, remember if I'm living too quick for you, you can pause the video. But I do hope this video is a little bit easier to understand than that first B video tutorial that I made. So, yeah. I'm just gonna move my C clip up and I'm gonna do one more row around with yellow. I'm just keep going around. You can also switch the rows up if you want of how many like gray rows or yellow rows you have if you want to put more gray rows of the stripes or whatever this is just what I'm doing that's simple for me to do and yeah Okay, so just move your C-clip up. Now we're going to switch back to another two rows of gray. Ugh, this is taking a long time. But that's fine. Beauty is always pain, right? <laughs> well, in this case, cuteness is pain because this is the cutest LB ever. But yeah. So do another slip stitch. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you. So pull a gray band through that first stitch and the stitch around your hook. Pull, reclaim it, and then just pull through, make a little slip knot. And then you can just start doing single crochets all the way around. Sorry, I keep zooming in and out. I can't really see how far out I zoom in or out, but I'm just trying to make it as clear for you guys as possible. And yeah. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking next door. Okay, I'm almost finished with this row. Um, I know I've said this about five times. Pause the video if you need to. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna do one more row of gray around and then I'll be done with the gray for the rest of the body. And after this row of gray, we are gonna be attaching our wings. So ex that's exciting. And yeah. Remember, if you don't know how to do any of these stitches, then please go check out my Loomy Groomy 101 video. That'll help you out so much. And it will also just help 
well, yeah, it'll just help you out so that you can know how to do Loomy Groomy because Loomy Groomy is so much fun. And you can make super cute little things just like this bee. Also, go check out my last video. It was my unicorn, Loomy Groomy unicorn. Super cute, super fun. And I love her so much. She was the cutest little thing. So, yeah. Also, comment down below if I should open a Etsy shop because I'm actually really considering doing that if you guys want me to. Okay. So, we're going to be done using gray for the rest of this video. I'm just going to put the gray back in the bag because um, I don't want it just sitting out on my table. So, I'm just going to do that real quickly. Um, you're going to want to grab your wings now. And... They should just look like this. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see how I'm attaching this. I am gonna go into the next stitch, pull a yellow band through and th through my stitch around my hook, and then I'm just gonna pull a tight slip knot, not too tight, but tight enough so that you can attach the wings without anything coming um, apart. And you're just gonna kinda like g go up with your hook to like the center. And you want to put your wings like in the middle of your eyes so that looks centered. Um, as you can tell, like the wings are in the middle of the head. So that's just what we're going to be doing on this bee. So um, I'm going to do it, but it might look a little bit weird the way I'm doing it. So if you do um, need to pause the video for this, um, that's perfectly fine. And just go in with your hook, grab the other bands, and then when you want to tie it, just tie a regular knot, and then just one tie it one knot, and then tie another knot. So basically, we're just double knotting the wings on to the body, to the body. Okay, so I did one. Now I'm gonna do one more, right, right over here. I am putting the wings a bit farther apart than I did in my other bee video. So if you don't like where I'm placing the wings, again, you can like place them wherever you want. This is just where I'm placing them. And yeah. Okay, so this is what your wings should look like. You can place them again wherever you want. I just really like the wing placement on this um, for me. Now we're going to be um, grabbing some more yellow just to finish up the body. So you're going to undo this little knot that we did. And... We're going to be doing one last slip stitch. So go into that first stitch, pull it through, and pull it through the banner in your hook. And just tie a loose slip knot. Then we're going to do one more row of yellow all the way around, just single crochets. Just single crochets all the way around. And just keep going all the way around. And 
and we're oh oops I just flinged a band out of the camera you and off my finger okay so I'm at my last stitch just finish that off with a single crochet and the next row we are we are gonna start to decrease so um I have changed up the decreasing for the bodies since my other B video where um, I'm just going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease for this row. So I'm just going to show you what a decrease is after I finish my two first single crochets. So a decrease is when you go in through the front of a stitch and the back of another stitch and basically stitch those together. So just do that all the way around. Two single crochets and then a decrease. And just keep going. And I'm just finishing the row with two single crochets because the single crochet, single crochet decrease did make the stitches a little bit uneven, but that's fine because honestly we're just decreasing and we're just trying to get a um, smaller amount of stitches each row. This is the row we are going to be stuffing the bee on. Looks so cute. I love it. And um, to stuff it, you're just going to be needing some polyfill or... Um, some cotton balls. You can also use like fabric scraps or like cut up t-shirt or whatever. Um, you can also use bands if you wanted to, but I would not recommend that. Um, two other things you could use is toilet paper or tissues. So I'm just gonna be using this, it's polyfill. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more of it because I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. But I do have like a really big bag of this stuff. so and I'm just going to start stuffing it. That should be enough stuffing, I think. I'm not going to need any more. And then you can just squish it until it's the size you like. And for this next row, we're going to be doing a single crochet and then a decrease all the way around. Oopsies. I've also um, noticed that I made a lot more mistakes in the other B video I made. And this one I haven't made. Um, any mistakes in? I don't think. A couple times I do say whoopsies. That is just because sometimes your stitches get undone and you have to redo those. But that's, I don't think that counts. I really don't think that counts. So. But just finish up the row and I'm finishing up with a decrease and I'm just going to move my C clip up to the band around my hook now I'm just going to actually remove my hook I mean not my hook, my C clip or stitch marker and I'm going to um, just decrease all the way around until it's closed. Okay, 
so I have finished the, as you can tell, we have a yellow, uh, yellow band sticking out. So you're just going to go in with your hook and tuck that band in if you know how to do that. Just like that. Okay. And I'm just gonna put the yellow away and then I'm gonna show you how to make the stinger. So I'll be right back. Okay, so for the stinger, you're just gonna be needing two gray bands and, or actually no, you're gonna be needing three gray bands total, but you're gonna be needing two gray bands to start. And you're just gonna go into the butt where you want to place the, the stinger. I'm just gonna go in like right here, pull the bands through like that, take the chain with them, and then take this other gray band and just tie a slip knot, nice and tight, not tight enough to break it though. And now I'm going to just going to wrap this gray band around the gray chain that we made about as many times until we run out of um, the gray tying off band. Let me tie it around, I guess. I don't know exactly how to explain it. You're just going to tie the gray band around the little stinger. And that just makes it a little bit more sticking out. I guess. I don't know. But that is it for the B. I think it's so cute. I think it's actually cuter than the original one I made. A little bit more chunky. I think I added more stuffing in this one. But either way, I think they're so cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe. We're getting really close to 500 subscribers. So that's a big deal. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.